All right, my Sharima, thanks so much for that. Now, Medics for Kenya, a group that has been offering medical support during protests, has withdrawn its services due to safety concerns for members. The group says the move comes as a result of the infiltration of the demonstrations by goons and the changing atmosphere surrounding the protests. The withdrawal comes as volunteers also expressed fears of their safety at the hands of police. Our very own Brenda Wanka reports on the experience of one volunteer last week. In the midst of exploding tear gas and rounds of rubber and live bullets, on the day that Kenya's political landscape was shaken by the invasion of parliament, 23-year-old Zaha Indimoli bravely walked up to the police in the CBD. <laughs> She was stationed at the makeshift medical camp at the Holy Family Basilica. As part of the medics for Kenya volunteers, they were patching up the injured, offering first aid care before moving them to hospital. Their efforts were, however, interrupted several times by tear gas canisters fired into the church compound by police. This is what Zaha sought to address with the police when she made that walk. But the police response was so chilling, it stopped her in her tracks. A week later, and Zaha says those words are still ringing in her ears and in her mind. And another fella behind him was like, eh, na bado atu jaanza. And I stood there in so much horror. Because I could only believe what I had seen in the tent. And looking at somebody who I believe has children, has families, <laughs> when you hear somebody saying, go back, I'm killing more that you have to wait for. I have never been broken like that. Dejected, she moved back to the church, determined to assist as many people as she could, despite the opposition and attacks by police officers, some of who were equally injured and needed medical care at the very center. We are not discriminating any officer and any protester. We are treating everyone. You guys hate each other that much that even if I mention your colleague is there, it doesn't move you a bit. It doesn't move you that children are there. It doesn't move you that human beings are there with gunshot wounds. And you're telling me to my face that I should go back and wait for more dead bodies that I should deal with. I don't think I've, this, it was the most unfortunate experience. She says she hasn't been able to return to the streets to offer help since that Tuesday, and it appears she will not get a chance to do that. The group Medics for Kenya that has been coordinating emergency medical care for the wounded in the protests has announced it will no longer do so. In a statement, the group comprising of volunteer doctors, nurses, clinical officers, psychologists, among other cadres of medics, say it is taking this decision for the safety of the volunteers in the face of the change in the protest atmosphere and the deployment of goons. Since the group started offering support in the reject and occupy protests, a number of medics have been injured. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV.